watching KPVM News 46. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Welcome back to News 46. The director of CASA, Willie Bear, invites you to become a court-appointed special advocate. A training class will be happening soon. Tell me about CASA. Court-appointed special advocates for children in foster care who have been abused and neglected. We desperately need more CASAs. So if anyone out there is interested in becoming a CASA and helping out these children, please call. When's the next CASA training coming up? Uh, we're hoping to have a CASA training probably in August. So um, if it's not terribly hot and we are able to get people to attend in August, it will be. Other than that, it will be in the fall. All right, and that number once again? 775-513-9514. Thank you so much. Well, Remote Area Medical is coming to, to town. The free event is scheduled later this year. Organizers are hoping to get more volunteers to help the community in providing dental, vision, and medical. The RAM event, the Remote Access Medical event, is an event that actually will provide prevent the, the, the restorative dental care. The people that have dent fillings that need to be filled, the people that perhaps have broken teeth, need teeth extracted, that sort of thing, that's available at the RAM event, um, as well as medical services, vision services. Um, it's a pretty comprehensive event where they actually bring services, and that is October 5th here at the Coalition. They're also looking for volunteers, providers, and um, everybody who wants to get involved with that. How does a person contact a remote area medical or they just give a call here to the coalition? So I, I would call the coalition because I know you can you can go on Google Google RAM and get information but I think the best thing is to go come here to the coalition because they know what the what the needs are here locally for that event so I would call I would get in touch with the coalition. Director BJ Hedrick Irwin spoke to us recently about the senior Miss Golden Years pageant held at the Saddle West. Well, we've been doing a lot of ribbon cuttings for mm -hmm. the various organizations. Uh, we have the 4th of July parade coming up next week, so we're getting ready for that. Mm -hmm. Of course, we had our Queen's meeting to get everyone together to start organizing all the, the uh, events coming up. We also have the back to school drive on the 21st, mm -hmm. so we will be doing that. We're, we have actually been organizing that to get that all together. The 4th of July Parade, of course, in the Calvada Eye. We'll, we'll see uh, all three of you lovely ladies there. Let's talk about your platforms. Mary, tell me about your platform. Well, mine is Zumba. Mm -hmm. I teach Zumba, which is a Latin dance-based fitness class, and I have a lot of seniors in my class, and it really is helpful and uplifting and great for everything, getting you going. And, uh, I want to start a class at the Senior Center, possibly. I'm going to be looking into that, okay. so um, an introductory class for right. everyone to check out. My platform was actually music and memory. I'm really interested in the neurosciences, the brain, and Alzheimer's is a disease that I think we are all going to face in our lifetime. It's some family member somewhere. So I looked for something that would tap into some of the physical things as well as the mental things. and came across this iPod music and memory program. So my plan is to have an iPod donation drive to get some of the iPods donated. I'm working with Inspirations to get them certified to start the program there. And then hopefully we'll expand beyond just those with dementia and, and uh, encompass some of the other diseases too. My platform was helping seniors to get out and move and have fun. I facilitate a creative movement class, mm -hmm. which I am still looking for a place. Mm -hmm. um, if I cannot find one, I will probably go back to Bob Rudd during the fall. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little too hot right now, but I am still looking for a place to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing, is getting seniors active. All of the girls are that way right now. Our whole, our whole bunch of girls are into the senior, mm -hmm. to the senior mode. So mine is getting them to move and be happy. Mm -hmm. I just want them to play. Well, I'm looking forward to this next year being in the court and helping out with a lot of different things in the community. Yeah. Yes. I think I want to thank everyone for coming out because, like Mary said, the audience was so energizing that it made the pageant so easy for us to come out and give our best. And I agree with both of the girls on that. And I did have a lot of people come up to me mm -hmm. that had been to pageant, said this was by far they loved this pageant yeah. and everyone that was in it. So that's our feeling and just getting out in the community more.
And we'd like to thank the Miss Senior Golden Years Queen, Terry Rogers, and her court for that interview. News 46 Weather Cam is brought to you by Glenn Lerner Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. All right, it's time to take a look outside through our Glen Lerner weather cam at our current conditions. Beautiful, picturesque, blue sky, not a cloud in the scene in that direction above our mountains. Michael Donahue is going to have us take a closer look at our forecast and just how much hotter it's going to get for this 4th of July celebration right after the break. <laughs> 